G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So I've all seen Moryu's logo, right? It's pretty, well, I don't know how to describe it. It's just a bunch of Chinese letters and it doesn't really fit that well on cubes. That I've seen anyway. I feel like a cube logo needs to be square or round to be able to fit in the middle of a cube. So I've given myself the task of just designing them a new one. Now they didn't ask me to do this. Maybe I'll see it in the future and maybe change it, but who knows. So I'm going to jump into Illustrator. I'm going to be working on my new iMac, which I got recently. It's a beast of a computer. But anyway, let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by making a grid just of a whole bunch of squares like this. Uh, it's always good to start off like this just so you can get sort of a ground floor of what you're going to do um, because I'm going to make the four letters in Moryu in sort of a grid pattern. So as you can see here, I've got these diagonal lines that I've put on the M and the Y. Uh, they're pretty much identical so I'm going to be using this for consistency's sake. So I'm going to use the shape of the tool to fill it all in and I'm also going to round the corners just like this. Now once uh, I've got all the excess out of the way now I can sort of tweak it a little bit I'm going to round even more of the O and the U so it's an actual circle which I think looks quite nice um, but they also look like sort of rounded shapes like a cube. Now here as you can just see I'm filling in the colours um, I'm just going to test a whole bunch of colours just like this. Um, I eventually settled on this nice sort of blue, dark blue uh, contrast sort of thing. Um, and this is the final result. So there we go. Let me know what you think. And hopefully one day, Mario Cubes can stop looking like this and start looking like this. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.